Hello everybody, Incon here. We have got our land month coming up soon. For those that don't know what that means, I mean basically the entire month of October starting on the 7th is basically land month where it's going to be like a land every single day for basically the entire month. Basically four weeks of land is going to be coming at you here in October. And so what's the significance of this land? So step one, this is not super regionals, okay? So last year, this land would have been Super Regionals, which was the qualification tournament for Worlds. That is not the case this year. This is the qualification for Super Regionals land, okay? So if you do well at this land, you go to Super Regionals, and just like last year, Super Regionals will get you to Worlds. So the way it's broken up is every team is in one of two groups. There's Group A and there's Group B. Four teams in each group, and that is for each region, so there's a total of four groups, A, B, C, and D. So week one is group A, and then B, and then C, and then D. Easy, bada bing, bada boom. So group A is our European group that has uh, Orbit, which was Paradigm, which is why you can see it has the Paradigm logo, logo. Orbit, which was Paradigm, Fantastique. Dig as well as Sanguine Esports. These are going to be the four teams in this group. Now, these teams are going to play each other all week. You can see it's only these four teams playing from Friday all the way through Sunday. You can see that giant setup. Each team will play each other twice in a best of two series, just like it was throughout the SPL. So every team will be playing a total of 12 games. Three opponents... Two games, twice each. Total of 12 games. The top two teams from each group qualify for Super Regionals. So the top two teams from this entire week here go to Super Regionals. Here go to Super Regionals. From here and from here. So eight teams will qualify for Super Regionals. And then after that, there's going to be the Gauntlet. And that's totally different, not related to this land. But there will be one more North American and one more European team that do not qualify from this land that make it to the Super Regional. So, let's go into it talking about Group A, our first week of land. First up, we have Orbit versus Fantastique, guys. Orbit, the number one seed out of Europe, playing really, really strong this year. Of course, the previous Paradigm crew and then all of that stuff went down to the Paradigm sponsors, so now the Orbit. They have shown how strong and how consistent they are of a team. They've been one of the top teams in Europe basically since the inception uh, of Smite, um, all the way back when the crew was TSM. I have a lot of confidence in this team, and I think that Paradigm is very, very uh, easily going to be finding their way towards this top uh, two spot. So they're going to win their first game against Fantastic. Next up... We have Team Dignitas versus Fantastic. Now, this should be a good game. Dig and Fantastic. Um, I'm definitely leaning towards Dig in this matchup. It is a land, though. So, in lands, it's going to be interesting to see how these teams develop. And keep in mind that you're going to want to be probably changing these picks throughout the week. Lands are all about momentum. Lands are all about momentum. So, Fantastic going against Paradigm in this first game. By Paradigm, I mean Orbit, whatever. That will probably put a bit of a damper on them. They've got to play this game right after they go against Orbit. And they're probably going to lose that game 2-0. to zero, So they're already coming in a little bit down. I give that 2-0 to zero to Dignitas. On that same day on Friday now, we've got Sanguine and Orbit going at it. I think this one's real easy. I don't even know if Paradigm is going to drop a game this tournament, guys. They're going to be a... I'm calling them Orbit and Paradigm back and forth. You know what I'm talking about. They're going to be the easy pick here, I think, for you guys. Uh, basically, whatever you see them to be picking them. And finally, we finish up with Dignitas and Sanguine Esports. I've got this going. Dignitas 2-0. Dig looking pretty good uh, this split. Not the greatest team, but they're looking pretty good. And I do expect them to come out in this land and play fairly strongly as well. I've got Dig and Orbit taking Friday in a sweeping fashion. Onward to Saturday. We've got Orbit versus Dignitas. 
This will probably be the best uh, type of sets here, this Orbit versus Dignitas matchup uh, that we get out of these uh, at this Group A. I still think Orbit's going to take these, but Dignitas has been known with previous teams to show up at land. Not necessarily this roster, but they've had rosters in the past that have almost made some huge upsets at land, but I still give it 2-0 to zero the way of Orbit. Fantastic and Sanguine should actually be a pretty good set. Fantastique, I would say, is going to be your sleeper out of this Group A. Uh, I would say Orbit is definitely going to be taking one of those top two spots. And then out of that second spot, it's going to be between Dig and Fantastique. Fantastique, if they want a shot at that spot, though, needs to take this game 2-0. to zero. If they are dropping games to Sanguine, or for anybody dropping games to Sanguine, uh, coming into this set is going to be where they lose a lot of points. Okay, Got that going 2-0 to zero the way of Fantastique. But people that lose to Sanguine are going to be the ones that are going to start to lose a little bit of positioning. Keep in mind, it's going to be scored kind of like the, the season was. So one win will get you a point, and the other team gets a point. No wins gets you zero points, but two wins gets you three points, which is why winning both the games in a set is so, so important. Dignitas versus Sanguine. They best be coming out swinging, and they best be taking this game 2-0, but... Their last set will be against Orbit, which means they are probably coming in with that two-game two loss for this set. So they could be a little bit down coming in for this set. But I'm still going to give it 2-0 to zero the way of Dignitas. That could be a split, though. That could very well be a game that Sanguine wins. Finishing up our Saturday games, we've got Orbit and Fantastique. Don't think too much about it. You see Orbit with the Paradigm logo, you pick Orbit with that Paradigm logo. You know what I'm saying? Don't even think too hard about it. Bada bing, bada boom, lock it up. Fantastic and Sanguine again. Sanguine should be coming hot off the loss the previous day from Orbit. So Fantastic should be just fine. Actually, excuse me. That is Fantastic coming off of the loss from Orbit the day before. So they're actually going to be a little bit down here. This could be another set where Sanguine comes in and splits the game. Just like earlier when Orbit will take out Dig. I think that that'll be... This set right here, Saturday with your Dig Sanguine game and Sunday with your Fantastic Sanguine game, those are both games that it's very, very plausible to go split on. In fact, I'm going to go split here. Both of those games, very, very plausible for Sanguine to be taking games while the other team is still down. Dignitas against Fantastic. These two going head-to-head -head are going to be the most important games because one of these two teams should be that secondary slot coming through for the LAN. So one of them needs to show up, and whichever team between these two wins these sets between them will most likely be that second spot team, but I do think it's going to be Dignitas. Finishing up, we have Orbit versus Dignitas, Easy Orbit, and Orbit versus Sanguine, Easy Orbit. So for all of our games, there were a ton of games. We have Orbit over Fantastic, Dig over Fantastic, Orbit over Sanguine, and Dig over Sanguine for our Friday games with Group A. Saturday, we've got Orbit over Dig, Fantastic over Sanguine, Dig over Sanguine, and Orbit over Fantastic on Saturday. And wrapping up our Group A on Sunday, we've got Fantastic, Sanguine split, Dig, Blah. Dig, Fantastic, Dig 2 to 0, Orbit. Over Dig and Orbit over SNG. A lot of talking, a lot of names. Should be an awesome week of LAN. Um, I think probably the other three groups, B, C, and D, are all going to be more exciting than A. Um, I think A is actually going to be the most lopsided group with Orbit kind of smashing everybody and the other three teams more so fighting it out for that second spot. But the rest of the three LANs should be uh, even more interesting. We'll have the next predictions up for the next LANs, guys, in the following weeks. Let me know if you're watching this on YouTube what you think about it down in the comments. And as always, have a twitching day, y'all. It's the final countdown. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba.